हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो दिस वीडियो इज बेस्ड ऑन क्लास फिफ्थ ई वी एस चैप्टर नंबर थर्ड फ्रॉम टेस्टिंग टू डाइजेस्टिंग एंड दिस वीडियो इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय द माइक्रोविजन अकेडमी सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू आवर चैप्टर इन पार्ट थ्री सो द नेक्स्ट यू हैव अ पोएम वे यू विल रीड द स्टोरी ऑफ मार्टिन मार्टिन हु इज अ सोल्जर वंस ही वॉज शॉर्ट इन हिज बेली and he got seriously hurt dr beaumont was called to treat him after one and a half years the wound was healed but there left a big hole in his stomach the hole was covered with a loose flap of skin dr beaumont felt that he had found a treasure he did many experiments and he continued to do this experiments for 9 years he wanted to know that what all things were present inside the stomach and all about the digestion okay at that time scientists did not knew how the food was digested how does the liquid in our stomach helps in digestion does the liquid helps in making the food only wet and soft or does it helps in any other way so dr beaman did so many experiments so what he did was he took out some liquid out of the stomach and he want to see that what would happen to the food item kept in a glass filled with it so that is why he took out some juice out of the martin stomach and did this experiment so what he did he took out the digestive juice at around 8:30 am and he put 20 tiny pieces of boiled fish in 10 ml of the juice and then he kept the glass at the same temperature as that of stomach that was about 30 degrees then he observed that around 2 pm that all the pieces of fish has dissolved okay inside that glass tube so dr beaman tried this experiments with different food items he gave martin the same food at the same time and then he compared that how long it took the food to be digested in the stomach and in the tube as well so he recorded his observation in the table so he also saw that all the food items took less time in the stomach as you can see here that unboiled milk took 2 hour and 15 minutes whereas in the glass with digestive juices it took 4 hour and 45 minutes to get digested similarly if we talk about the boiled milk and boiled egg inside the stomach it took less time whereas outside the stomach it took almost double the time okay you can see and compare also so what magical is there inside our stomach that inside our stomach the same food along with the same digestive juices takes very less time so the observation the doctor beaman found is our stomach churns the food okay it churns and it grinds the food inside our stomach and it happens very violently very vigorously just like you have seen your mother churning the curd to make a lassi like that okay so similarly our stomach also churns the food so that it gets properly mixed with the digestive juices and the food will get easily digested so dr beaman also find out that the digestive juices are acidic in nature like it is a bit acidic in nature so have you heard someone talking about acidity why does this happens this happens when someone has not eaten well or when the food is not digested properly so at that time the digestive juices present in our belly start to raise okay and 
the digestive juices when they become in very high amount so they create acidity and at that time we feel a burning kind of sensation in our stomach and that condition is termed as acidity okay so let's see the journey of food so what happens to the food when we take it in let's see so firstly the food enter our mouth then we taste it we chew it properly and then we swallow then food enters the stomach through the food pipe so there's a food pipe which allows food to enter stomach and then in the stomach the food get churn and the food gets mixed with the digestive juice and thus it gets digested then what happens the stomach churns the food and the food is digested properly then the digestive food gives us energy in the form of glucose okay then the undigested food passes through small intestine and large intestine and finally this undigested food is passed out of the body in the form of waste so what will happen if we eat too less or too much and that too the unhealthy food so this is rashmi and she is 5 years old but she looks about 3 years old she has very thin arms and legs and a pot belly what is pot belly a stomach which is like a balloon okay so she falls sick easily and she always feels tired okay and she is not even able to go to school regularly she does not have the strength even to play so why this happens because she does not get sufficient food to eat she feels lucky when she gets a little rice or a roti to eat okay so whole day she has to go through this condition because she is very poor so she cannot get the proper meals so she is not getting the proper type of nutrition this is the reason why she is so sick okay and what about the kailash kailash is 7 years old but he looks older than his age his body is fat and flabby and he has pain in his leg he is not active and he goes to school by bus and spends many hours watching tv so what does he eat he does not like home cooked cooked food like vegetables and all he only likes junk food okay so they both look like this rashmi looks like that and the kailash looks like a fat guy okay so now why do you think that Rashmi could eat only one roti in the whole day and so because Rashmi is too poor to afford a proper meal that is why she could eat only one roti in a day next question do you think Kailash would like to uh, Kailash would like games and sports no i think Kailash would not like games and sports his fat and flabby body shows that he hardly does some physical activities what do you understand by proper food adequate and nutritious food according to one's body need makes the proper food you would have noticed that there must be a difference in your diet your mother's diet and your father's diet okay even your grandparents diet would be different from from you maybe you might be having two chapatis per meal and your grandfather may be having only one chapati so according to a person the diet also is different if we compare a sports person or a person who does very hard work so they have lot of difference in their diet okay now let's see next question Why do you think that the food of Rashmi and Kailash was not proper? Rashmi is not getting adequate amount of food and Kailash is taking too much amount of junk food which is body does not eat, right? So we need all the 
all the variety in the food not only one thing we should eat but we should eat all the variety and we should not overeat also the condition of kailash is that of overeating and that of rashmi is she is eating very less so both the conditions are not suitable we should eat a proper amount a balanced amount okay so talk with your grandfather and or your elderly people and find out what they ate and what work they did when they were of your age so my grandparents used to eat rice dal green vegetables milk and lot of fresh food they used to do physical activities they used to walk 2 miles to go to school they used to play games which involved lot of physical activities the modern times have changed we do eat rice and dal and vegetables but we also take many junk food i go to school by school bus major part of my free time is spent sitting on sofa watching tv or playing computer games so we do less amount of physical activities yes obviously if we compare the efforts which our elders used to put and what we do today is just opposite due to the increase of facilities what we have started is laziness right we don't do much of the physical activities but to keep our body fit to keep our organs healthy we need to do more and more physical activities so proper food every child's right you have read about two children one is kailash who does not like homemade food and another is rashmi okay who does not even gets one meal per day so about half the children in our country are like rashmi they do not get enough food that they need to grow and to develop properly so these children are weak and they are often poor okay they have very poor health but it is the right of every children to get the proper food do you agree with me that all the children must be provided with the proper food mm obviously yes. so this is how is the condition of many children in our country they are very very poor and they do not even have good food or good health so what we should do is we should not waste food at all yes we should stop wasting food and we should start helping the poor people uh, so that no poor must sleep hungry so do you know any child who does not get enough to eat in a whole day what are the reasons of this children living in slums or beggars on road do not get enough food to eat because they are very poor to buy food have you ever seen a go down where a lot of grain has been stored so i think yes you might have seen the go down and it is generally available near the farms of the farmer so why can you not taste food properly when you have cold as we already discussed that our taste of uh, that our tasting depends on smelling also so when our nose is blocked by the cold we cannot sense the smell and so we are unable to taste the food properly if we were to say that digestion begins in the mouth how would you explain this so the salivary gland which secrete the saliva are present in our mouth okay so saliva contains digestive juices which helps to break down complex sugars complex sugars are present in various substances like a mango or rice okay and so on so they are broken down into simple sugars and thus it can be said that digestion begins in the mouth so thank you for watching the video i'll meet you in the next video session till that time take care bye bye stay safe stay at home